Hey what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome back to the channel. Where today I'm going to be unboxing and taking a look at this ergonomic home office chair from Neutral. Now home office chairs may sound a bit boring, but trust me, this thing is feature packed and it's got so many adjustments on it, honest to God, it is crazy. Plus it also looks the part, which is what you're going to want. Let's quickly first start off then by taking a look around the outside of the box. So as we can see, it says ergonomic chair and uh, we get an image of what the chair looks like. Color scheme on this thing is really nice. You'll see what I mean in a bit. Move around to the side and the model number on this is the NT002 ergonomic chair. This is black. Gross weight 29 kilos and net weight is 26 kilos. So uh, yeah, this is a hefty bit of kit, not no cheap chair. And uh, dimensions of the box, 58 by 51 by 60 centimeters. Right then, let's crack on and get this box open. So as we can see, there is uh, plenty in here to assemble and uh, well, this looks pretty good to start off with. So we've got all these screws and all that that we've uh, got to put into uh, the chair. And uh, it's all nicely laid out in there, or it should be. Looks like some have rattled free in the box, but still, it's nice how they've done it. Then we've got a uh, instruction stroke user manual there and uh, a set of gloves as well. I didn't know I was uh, playing snooker. And as you can see, all the components are well protected. Right then, that's all the components now out of the box. So let's crack on and get this thing assembled. Right, that is the chair now fully assembled. And you know what? I think it looks really nice. Now if I just spin the chair around, we got these lovely orange accents on there. I think that really sets it off. And uh, I'll come to these bits in just a minute. But what we're gonna first start off doing is uh, look at some of the features of this chair. So I'm gonna start off at the top and of course, like any office chair like this, obviously it swivels around and it moves around on the coasters. So if you come in a little bit closer, so starting off with the headrest then, and as we can see, this does tilt backwards and forwards. Got a lot of movement on there, I just sit down. And show you guys so if I was to relax back I can adjust that to uh, where I want it. I wish it did actually come forward a bit though that is a uh, one downside I would say about that but what also we do have is height adjustment. Now that's simply simple enough to do just push it down or ooh, there we go or push it up like that so yeah plenty of range. Moving on down, and as you've probably just seen, the back of the chair is actually height adjustable. There are different levels of height adjustment, go up to the top, and then it will drop all the way back down again. Next, we're gonna talk about the arms of the chair. So, we have height adjustment on this. Again, that's pretty standard there. But what we also have is uh, able to move those both in and out. We can move them backwards and forwards, which, uh, it's very nice, so again, get a nice angle there. And also you can tilt them in or out. And uh, what I do particularly like is that we've got these indents there, so your arms just sit in there, nice and snug. Moving further on down, and we have this handle just here. Easy enough to grab hold of, and if we pull that up, what I can do, I can actually slide the seat backwards and forwards. And if you actually look, that is independent from the back, so again, Loads of adjustment there, as you can see, really does move really far forwards and back. And of course, you can stop that at any point as you wish. Moving on to the next handle just down here then. And what that's for, if I just lift that up, that will lower it down and let the seat go back up again. Pretty standard stuff. Now, what I can also do is if I pull this out, what I can now do, is let the seat recline. Look at that. We can go right back. And of course, it'll go backwards and forwards nice and freely there. But if at any point we want to lock it in position, what we do is just push that in. And there we go. It's locked it into that position. Move it back again and push it in. 
There we go. As you can see, it's locked into position like that. Pretty cool. Now, depending on your weight, you may find that this goes back quite easy or quite hard if you're lighter, but there is a solution for that. If you just come on down, we do have this knob just here. And if we turn that, that's going to increase or decrease the resistance on how easy or hard that seat actually goes back. So now, if I go on it, that, ooh, that's uh, yeah, very easy now. And uh, yeah, I'd need it up a little bit tighter than that. Now I've just adjusted that knob to its hardest setting. And now if I try and lean back, as you can see, that is now resisting me. And uh, yeah, that is a lot stiffer than before. So great if you are heavier. Now, whilst this is dead comfy when I lean back, it's missing something for my legs, but we do have a solution. So I spin that round, pull this out. Yeah, now we're talking, that is dead comfy. So if you've been working hard at your desk, you know, you wanna chill out for five minutes, you can put your feet up like this. When you're done, simple enough, we do is uh, turn that lever like that, bring those up, push that back, back to your desk. Now we come to this chair's party piece, which is the auto-following lumbar support. And this is the part in question. Now there are a couple of ways which you can use this. So at the moment it is locked in position. If you just come down, we have a knob just there. And if I just turn that, there we go. That is now let that extend out. And what we can do is move that knob again and move it to a few set positions. There we go. It simply locks in place. But if I release this back out now, as you can see, that is spring loaded. So now, as you can see, that is following the contour of my back, which is really great, especially when you sat at a desk for a prolonged period of time. Now at the moment, this is on a very soft setting. So as you can see, I can easily push that in with just a couple of fingers. But if we come around the back, we do have this knob here. Now, if I turn this clockwise all the way, what this is gonna do now is stiffen that right up. As you can see, I'm really having a push now with my fingers. So again, you can adjust this to get that perfect feel on your back, get that proper support. Again, with the uh, recline here, there we go. Oh, now we're talking, that is proper comfy. Oh, I forgot one more thing again. Pull this down. So I'm being nicely supported there. My back that is really, really relaxing. But obviously it isn't just all about the recline. Like I said, when you are sat at a desk, you are gonna get that great posture as well. So there you go then guys. Now, if you do like what you see in this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a link in the description to this chair and also a 10% off code. And uh, yeah, I think it's a great chair. Like I say, I love the design of it. These orange bits, love sort of things like that. I think it just sort of sets it apart from a normal uh, home office chair. And yeah, it is dead comfy. That is going straight in my home office and I'm gonna be using this until it dies. Now, if you have enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you already haven't, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.